What's going on guys? Welcome back. In this video, we're going to be doing all the engine related wiring. Uh, my plan is to completely de-loom all that nasty, sticky, old electrical tape on my wiring harness and re-loom it with this awesome product I found called Tessa Tape. Tessa Tape is a cloth based tape. You might recognize it from some German car manufacturers. The stuff I'm using is meant for use in the engine bay. So why am I using Tessa Tape? Well, for one, it looks a whole lot better than electrical tape. But beyond that, it's actually got a lot more strength than electrical tape. It's hydrophobic, which means it's water resistant. It doesn't tear easily, and it adheres to itself really well, which means you don't get a lot of frayed ends with Tessa Tape. And on top of that, it just looks really good. I'm gonna completely de-loom my wiring harnesses, re-loom it with the Tessa Tape, and I'll show you guys how I go about doing that. If you're interested in trying out Tessa Tape for yourself, I left a link to the stuff that I used in the description below. So as you guys can see, I've got my wiring harness here. I'm getting ready to get started de-looming this thing. Um, I'm gonna get started on the coil pack harness first, just to sort of run through one part of the harness, show you guys the process, uh, give you a detailed view of how I go about de-looming and re-looming this harness. Um, from there, I'll probably time lapse the rest of the harness and we'll move on to installing it in the car. So before you guys get started pulling this harness apart, make sure you get some gloves on. The adhesive from this electrical tape, it's nasty and it's super sticky. Uh, it gets on everything. So get some gloves on, get a trash can nearby, and then we're just gonna start peeling up the old electrical tape. Get that corrugated conduit out of there. And we'll go ahead and wrap it up with the Tessa tape.
I threw the coil packs and the harness in. I know there's really not much to see. Most of the harness is tucked out of the way, but I gotta say it looks way better than it did before, that's for sure. I went ahead and taped up the wiring on the window motor just to give you guys a better example of what this stuff can really do for you. Yeah, this stuff really goes a long way in cleaning up the engine bay and just adding that next little small detail to really clean it up. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna move on. I'm gonna get started on the engine harness. I've got a lot of wire to de-loom here and it's gonna be a lot of tape to, to tape it up as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and power through this, get it done, and then we're gonna throw that wiring harness in. many hours of delooming those harnesses and wrapping them back up again I got the engine harness the lower harness and the coil pack harness all done um, it's getting kind of late so I'm gonna call it a night and we're gonna pick back up on this tomorrow and get that engine harness installed so yeah I'll see you guys then it's the next day and uh, it's been raining all day today but it finally let up a little bit so I'm gonna take this as an opportunity to get this engine harness back in. So last night I finished wrapping up the harness with the Tessa tape and man, it looks a whole lot better. It's a lot easier to work with as well. It's just all around better quality than the electrical tape. It, it's really good to get rid of it. So by the time I'm done with this car, all the wiring in the engine bay, even the chassis harness is gonna be refinished with that Tessa tape for sure. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and get this engine harness back in. Probably gonna start with the lower harness and then work the engine harness on. Uh, but yeah, let's get this harness in. All right guys, so the engine harness, the lower harness, and the coil pack harness, they're all installed. And uh, after working with that Tessa tape a little bit more, another really cool thing I noticed about it is that it doesn't stretch like electrical tape. You can really pull on it and wrap it really nicely onto the harness. This stuff is very rugged and it looks very good. I'll probably never use electrical tape again. The next step's gonna be the chassis harness. Fortunately, the chassis harness 
runs underneath the fenders and in front of the condenser. Uh, so I can't really finish putting the front end together until I get the chassis harness in, which means I gotta pull all the interior out of the old car and I gotta pull the harness out of the out of the new car. But we'll be tackling that in the next video, guys. I'm gonna end it here though. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you wanna keep up with the build, I'm up the, I'm uploading content weekly. So subscribe and stay tuned for more. Um, but yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next one.